Every professional football training camp comes with a heavy emphasis on the youngsters, the lesser knowns. Over the last two weeks in Kamloops, we've certainly highlighted some of those key newcomers who are expected to compete hard for spots until the very end. But today it's all about the veterans. What goes inside the minds of these fellas whose spots are pretty much locked in? BC Lions expected to go with a younger lineup in Calgary to open preseason, but never too early to talk about some of the progress made by key Lion mainstays. Suk Chung back for another year on the offensive line. I think it's huge, you know, it, as training cap keeps going, some guys, you know, the playbook is bigger and guys are afraid to move fast or make mistakes, but today we had a lot of high energy and even though we might have done some stuff wrong on tape, guys were flying around and on the same page and we'll get better as we watch the film. Fifth uh, Lions camp for you, ninth or tenth overall in the CFL, uh, how hungry are you still? Hungry, man. Uh, Every year, new year, get to get a new identity of a team and just looking forward and excited about the guys we've uh, acquired and the guys that are coming back and can't wait to build throughout this training camp and take it into season. Season five for Sook, the pride of Terry Fox secondary. You know he's hungry for a Grey Cup ring. Didn't get the chance to do so in Winnipeg. Became a BC Lion in 2019. And you just sense the hunger, the professionalism around these vets because you know they understand it's a day-by-day -day process. On defense, perhaps one of the better defensive backs in the CFL that maybe doesn't get the credit he deserves. He should. He's been an all-star. Gary Peters our first chance to catch up with Petey here in Kamloops. Well, we all out here competing for uh, jobs and contracts, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's family oriented. You know, we're building a family here, you know, uh, been building it for the last three, four years. And at the end of the day, you know, the closer we are, the better it'll be for us on game day and, on, and, and, and in the playoffs and further on. But yeah, we definitely building a family here, but at the same time, guys know that they're still competing for jobs and uh, they want to be here. And then uh, not expecting to see in Calgary, so, you know, talk to Sook about this too. What's your mindset this week, uh, knowing that you want to be ready for the regular season, but you want to stay sharp? I mean, uh, at, at this point, you know, uh, we got we got big goals this year, big dreams, you know. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of us have never been to the uh, Grey Cup, you know, and uh, yeah. for us, you know, it's, it's getting over that hump. So it starts now for us, you know, we got to be better now than we were last year around this time. So for us, we all know what's at stake. You know, we all know what we want to get this year. And we know that taste and that feeling that, that left in our mouth from uh, uh, left in us from last year. So for us, you know, it's just staying locked in, uh, keeping everybody around us locked in, uh, whether that's the young guys or the, the other vets. So uh, we're not worried about getting off task or, or being unfocused because uh, we know the mission. Yeah, you won't see Sook or Petey in Calgary Saturday, but you can tell these guys are ready to go take another crack at taking that next step in the Western Division. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, all of our training camp content here at Hillside Stadium. Matt Baker with BCLions.com.